I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be a refrigerator and freezer organization. We pull everything out, check expiration dates, clean the refrigerator and the freezer and reorganize and put everything back. So if that sounds interesting to you, then let's get going. Whenever I do a fridge or freezer, refresh, clean out, organization, whatever it might be, I like to work in stages. Nobody wants to have their fridge or freezer door open for longer than they need to have it open. So I'm going to start first with the door and just take out all of the products followed by all of the inserts and wash those and sort through everything and check expiration dates. I pulled out all of the containers that were easy to remove and I'm going to wash them in my sink. I'm going to plug one side and use that as kind of the scrubbing zone and then the other side of the sink I am going to use to rinse off those inserts. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Typically when I'm cleaning my fridge, I just do a little bit of a wipe out and then I will do a deeper clean. Sometimes on a monthly basis, I'll try and pull things out and really, really give it a good scrub down. But at least quarterly, I like to take all of the parts out of the fridge and do this. So it's a nice opportunity when I'm organizing it to take care of that deep clean at the exact same time. I would love to hear from you guys. How often do you do a deep clean of your refrigerator like this? How often do you give it just a quick wipe down? It's a really easy place to forget about giving a deep clean, but it's one of the places that really, really needs it and probably needs it more often than most of us do clean it. Just because there is food, there are things dripping in there, and it's inevitable that there are going to be some spills. You'll see this larger container that goes on the door actually has a divider that comes with it. Super nice to have a fridge that has some organizational parts built into it, but I don't love this fridge and freezer combo. My apartment refrigerator and freezer were actually larger than this fridge and freezer in our new house. So a lot of my organizers that I had in my old fridge and freezer did not work so I had to get some new ones that are a little bit smaller because this fridge is not as deep especially so that was a bummer to have to get a few new things but I'm excited about what I found and I was able to reuse a couple of things that I had from before. This unit is a side-by-side -side fridge and freezer and I'm starting to think that I don't like the side-by-side -side and prefer the fridge on the top and a pull-out freezer on the bottom. That's what we have in the basement. And so if you are somebody that has a side-by-side -side and you want the inspiration and motivation and all of that stuff to go through your side-by-side -side fridge and freezer, this video is for you. If you do have a pull-out freezer on the bottom and you're wondering how I'm going to organize that or how I would organize that, I'm going to be doing another video where I'm organizing our basement fridge and freezer, which is the opposite setup. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you stay tuned for that so you can see both setups. Now you'll see I'm going through expiration dates, 
condiments and other items that I keep in my door typically have really long expiration dates and shelf lives. But if you don't go through them often, they can sneak up on you and you might think that you have a year or six months or something. And before you know it, that time passes up and you have some expired food in your refrigerator. So just double checking all of the expiration dates and most of it looks good, but there are a couple of items that I'm going to get rid of. Even if you don't get rid of everything, it is a reminder to yourself what you have. I say this often with decluttering and going through everything is that it can just be a reminder of what you have in a Especially when it comes to food or things that expire. You want to know what you have on hand. You want to know when it expires to encourage yourself to use it up before it goes bad. Now I'm just using a general multi-surface cleaner here in my glass and silicone spray bottles with my microfiber clean cloths. And I'm saying my, because I do sell both the microfiber cleaning cloths and the glass and silicone spray bottles. If you're somebody that likes buying in bulk or just decanting your cleaning products or creating your own DIY cleaners, they are great. So make sure to check the description box below for a link to both of those products. In terms of how I'm organizing the products on the door, I'm just trying to put like items together. So at the top there, I'm putting all different types of condiments. I have things like ketchups and mustards and hot sauces and sriracha, all of that. And the next shelf down, I am organizing like items together again, but I'm also being conscious of the depth of the different shelves for the door. So the top two are the deeper shelves and then they get narrow as they go to the bottom. So I have some things that are a little bit wider like my salsa, like this giant thing of garlic and our maple syrup. So I need to make sure that those fit on one of the wider shelves. I'm using the divider here so I have salsa on the right and then everything else on the left and that left hand side is a little bit of a miscellaneous category but that is okay. The next one I'm organizing I have pickles, jalapenos, pepperoncinis, and capers and the following one actually ends up being a lot of different Asian flavors like rice vinegar, oyster sauce, fish sauce, chili paste, and other things like that. The door is done, so it's on to the refrigerator, but before I pull everything out and start organizing it and cleaning it, I recently did a Costco run and I am such a fan of buying all of our meat from Costco. I like to freeze it. I love buying in bulk. I don't go to Costco very often, so when I do, we stock up and I fill up my freezer 
That's also why I love having a second fridge and freezer is so I can put more of our frozen meat downstairs. And if you are somebody that likes to freeze meat and things like that, I will share how I organize it in my next video. I put this flank steak into freezer safe Ziplocs into two separate portions because it comes into two separate pieces anyway. And I just weigh it and put the weight of how much meat is in each bag right there on the Ziploc. And that way, when I go to prepare a meal, I can know the actual weight of the meat and not the meat frozen and any other ice that may have formed and kind of changes the weight of the meat there. And it helps when I'm making a recipe that calls for, let's say, one pound of flank steak or whatever it might be. So I brought that downstairs and now it is truly time to go through the refrigerator and I'm starting by pulling it all out like I did with the door. I did kind of pause when I hit the cheese drawer because the bottom part of the refrigerator is all drawers. So I decided to just do half at a time, do the top portion and close the door so I could clean off the shelves and then put stuff back and then I could go to the drawers and do the same thing. So while I'm cleaning off these shelves here, I do want to share that this video is sponsored by Share a Cart. I'm really excited because Share a Cart is something that helps me and it helps you. It is a free Chrome extension and it allows you to share your online shopping list from a bunch of different retailers with one link. So what I am going to do is I am going to put together all of the organizers that I'm sharing today in the fridge and freezer in a Share a Cart link. That way you can click on it. You don't have to go to a bunch of different places and you can see exactly the products that I have used in my fridge and freezer today and shop with that one easy link. Like I said, makes my life easier, makes your life easier, but this isn't really the only application that you can use share a cart. I've mentioned share a cart before and worked with them in the past when I've done a sophisticated Saturday video and shared my grocery shopping list with you guys that way. It's just a really great way to share different lists and shopping carts with others, maybe a wish list if you do want to reorganize your fridge and freezer and you're loving the products that I end up using today. Maybe you could shoot this link over to a spouse or somebody else and hope that they might buy you some of these items to organize your fridge and freezer. So don't forget to check the link in the description box below for my share a cart link and you can shop all of the products and you can even create your own shopping list to share with others. It's a sure thing we know what is 
missing Close our eyes but we know it's ending Violation of what can be broken But it's done now and we can't step back No more spark, it's just cold and dark Burning out like stars shining in the sky no more Now I can put those shelves back into the refrigerator. I really like this one shelf because it has part of it that can extend out or retract back into the back part of the refrigerator if you have something on the shelf below it that's a little bit taller so it kind of gives you an option but you do need to be careful with it because it does tend to be a little bit wobbly if you're not careful and you put something on that front portion of the shelf that can retract back I did make that mistake when we just moved in and the refrigerator was very new to me and I didn't know that the shelf did that The first organizer I'm cleaning off is the one that I store all of my different nut milks. I have oat milk, almond milk, coconut milk, and then I always have one oat milk that I use that is better at frothing for things like lattes and stuff like that. So I have a lot of alternate milk options and I like to keep them all stored together in this really convenient rollout caddy so I can just grab the front, roll it out, and grab exactly whatever I need. I also have another smaller rollout caddy. These are great. These fit in my old refrigerator in my apartment as well as in this refrigerator. So really whatever size fridge you have, hopefully these will work for you. And I love the fact that the back part has wheels. And like I said, you can just roll it right out. This one I used to have for dairy products like string cheese and stuff in our old apartment and I had a label on it so I just peeled that off and now I put some overnight oats in there. I don't think I'm going to label it just because I want it to rotate with what I'm using. I don't always have overnight oats. I don't always have string cheese and things like that. So it just rotates and I'm going to leave it label because you'll see the overnight oats didn't even fit in there very well. So I'm going to probably put something else in there instead. The other containers that I'm using are to keep produce fresh. They come in a variety of sizes. This smaller size, I'm putting cherries into it and you'll see that it has both vents and an option to add water. And it has a chart for all of the different things that you might put into the container, whether you should open the vents or not, or whether you should add water at the bottom to prolong the shelf life of whatever food you're putting in there. So these are great. Another thing I love to use in a refrigerator, which might surprise you, is a Lazy Susan. It's a really easy way to access things that might be stuck in the back of your fridge. You just rotate that Lazy Susan and you can grab whatever you need. When organizing my fridge shelves, I like to have one shelf that's more for leftovers and another shelf that's more for ingredients that I need to prep. So I'm trying to leave some extra space knowing that I will have leftovers all the time. I'm constantly cooking different foods and we always have leftovers. Love making dinner and having the leftovers for lunch the next day. So account for things like that if you are organizing your fridge just be mindful do you have the maximum amount of groceries that you usually have in your refrigerator or when you're organizing it do you maybe have less than you usually have and you need to save space for items that you don't currently have but usually have now we're onto the drawers i have tons and tons of cheese variety of different reasons why I have so many cheese. First of all, I love cheese, but second of all, with our baby, I tried to go dairy-free for a while, so a lot of this cheese wasn't being used for a while. Really needed to check expiration dates, and I found a few things that were expired, and I also bought some dairy-free alternatives when I wasn't eating dairy. I'm now back to eating dairy. It didn't work to help our little baby that much with his spitting up. So back to dairy, I will still probably use up those cheese alternatives, but there were some expired cheeses I needed to toss. 
I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you. With the three drawers, the way that I'm going to organize it is the top drawer that's fixed in there, that's for all of our dairy and cheese. The next drawer down, I am going to put our most used fresh produce that we always have. And this is what I did in my last apartment. And then the bottom is going to be any other fresh produce. I never use any organizers in the cheese drawer. It is a waste of time to me. The drawer itself is so narrow and thin that it doesn't really need one. And in the refrigerator, you need to be really careful not to over-organize. This drawer wasn't too dirty, so I just sprayed it with my multi-surface cleaner and gave it a wipe out with my microfiber cleaning cloth. And then I bought new organizers that fit this fridge drawer a whole lot better than my old ones. And this is what I'm talking about, about our most used produce. I am constantly using lemons and limes when I'm cooking or putting lemon in my drink, but mostly for cooking, I use them all the time. So I have one container for lemons and limes. We always have tons of apples. So one part is for apples. And then the last one, we always have avocados. So I put avocados in there. And sometimes I will stick in things like oranges as well. But in general, it's lemons and limes, apples, and then avocados. I might be shaky. I might be weak. My words may In that bottom drawer, you'll see that's what I was talking about with other produce. I have some lettuce, cabbage mix, Brussels sprouts, green onions, whatever I have for the recipes that week. I also had some cilantro I'm going to put in one of the reusable containers. And I want to show you an example of the larger container and how big it is and what it can hold. Here is the after you'll see I did leave extra space, like I mentioned, for leftovers and other food because while my fridge wasn't empty right now, it definitely was not as stocked as it can be or is after I do a grocery run. So I was really conscious of that. It's time for the freezer. I'm going to do the same thing, pull items out in sections. And the first section I'm going to do is the top two shelves. It's a lot of my smoothie items and then things that I have frozen into my super cubes and stasher bags, which I will explain as we're going through them. So for my smoothies, I like to have frozen bananas. I just break them in half and stick them into a silicone reusable bag. These are my stasher bags and I can easily pop in half of a frozen banana into a smoothie or I also like to make nice cream. If you haven't heard of nice cream, it is basically a fake ice cream made out of bananas. So it's healthy for you or a lot healthier than regular ice cream. And you can do that in a high speed blender or with a specific machine that I will also link using the share a cart link so you can shop that as well. You'll see I also have some frozen cubes of Greek yogurt. Some are strawberry, some are plain. And the way that I froze those cubes was using my super cubes. They come in a bunch of different shapes and sizes. Again, all of this, the stasher bags, the super cubes, the organizers from the fridge, all will be linked using that share cart link below.
On that top shelf, you'll see I was trying to figure out if I could fit everything that relates to my smoothies up there, but I decided I had more than I thought I did. I forgot I had that extra bag of frozen fruit and a little bag of frozen avocados. So I'm doing all of that as well as my pre-made smoothies on the top. And then below that, I have my stasher bags neatly lined up, file folded instead of stacked on top of each other. Always, always organize by storing things vertically if you possibly can. It makes it really easy to pull things out, kind of like a bookshelf, just slide out exactly what you need instead of upsetting the apple cart and pulling one thing out and everything topples over that was stacked on top of it. I'm trying to create categories and purpose for the rest of the freezer. So that drawer there, I am doing all of my seafood, which is usually just salmon and shrimp. You'll also see I like to take things out of my super cubes once they've frozen so I can reuse them for other things. I froze small little cubes of pesto for recipes. I like to put it on pizza. It's a lot easier to freeze it this way as opposed to freezing the whole jar because the jar that I get is from Costco and I never want to defrost an entire jar that's just way too much pesto so i'm putting them into a stasher bag and on that second shelf with the other stasher bags in your eyes i saw diamonds and skies and i did all for you because you wanted me to in your eyes I'm also breastfeeding, so it's important for me to have some breast milk in the freezer there. I just got that organizer as well, so I will make sure to link that too. And I have a few things that are frozen vegetables, frozen meatballs, put those up there. And then the bottom two drawers here in the main section of the freezer chicken is our most used protein it needs a whole dedicated drawer and then the bottom one i have some ground beef ground bison and ground turkey which didn't quite fit so i ended up putting the ground turkey with the chicken The door here was a bit of a miscellaneous mess. It's a lot of baked goods that I have previously frozen. I had frozen pancakes and some frozen sunshine bread. I put those in the door for quick, easy access for a breakfast or a snack. And then a couple of other random frozen items followed by on the bottom, I have all of our ice packs. And here's the after of the freezer. Honestly, this was not that difficult to do. I'm hoping that after seeing this, you got some ideas for different organizational concepts that you can implement in your fridge and freezer. The last thing I want to do before I finish this video and before I call this job complete is to clean off the outside. We did a really good deep clean of the inside of fridge and freezer. So I'm going to use some stainless steel spray and wipe it off and call this good. Everything's all neat and organized and I feel so much better about my fridge and freezer. Make sure to stay tuned for part two where I'm gonna go down to the basement and organize that fridge and freezer as well. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I post a new video, especially for that second part of the fridge and freezer organization. But until next time, I will see you guys later.